It's relatively rare, but compulsive hoarding is now a well-known condition, thanks in large part to reality TV. As the name suggests, hoarders find it impossible to part with possessions, even garbage. But the problem isn't limited to inanimate objects. These puppies were rescued from a house in Linfield last month. Just a few of the 199 dogs, cats, birds, reptiles and rodents removed from unsanitary living conditions. Cameras didn't capture the scene, but similar situations are chronicled on the Animal Planet show Confessions Animal Hoarding. I've never seen a house in that kind of condition. I go to his kitchen, I see garbage, I see old food, I go to his living room and I see more cat my next guest was called in last month to help remove the animals from the Linfield home. Dr. Martha Smith Blackmore is the vice president of animal welfare for the Animal Rescue League of Boston. Thanks for joining us, Martha. Thank you. First of all, how did this come about? Did the police call you? How, how did you get involved? It was my understanding that the police were called to the home for an emergency, and the police were kind of stunned by what they saw. So they called in the MSPCA, which is another uh, animal welfare organization in Boston, and they understood this case was bigger than any one agency could absorb all at once. So they reached out to us for assistance in removing the animals and helping care for them. So what did you see when you first walked in? Uh, the house was absolutely filthy, and it's more than just what you see. It's like sensory overload because there's cages stacked upon cages, um, smells really assaulting your respiratory tract and sounds. The birds are flapping in the cages, kicking up dust, and dogs are barking and cats are dashing about. So it's just mayhem. And is there just feces everywhere? I assume they're not letting these animals out to relieve themselves outdoors. Uh, some animals in the scene were free in the house, and then there were others that were in cages, and there were some that were leaving their droppings from the top cages down into the bottom cages. They were being constantly rained upon. Was there a human being in the house, or had there been? Somebody died, as I understand it. All I know is that there, there were people living in the home at the time that the animals were taken away. Uh -huh. Do these people have any rights to the animals at this point, or is it d determined by you and somebody else it's a matter of animal cruelty? What's the well, determination? An animal hoarding cases um, can be prosecuted as animal cruelty because certainly what the animals endure can be quite horrific. However, in this case, uh, the family members signed the ownership of the, owner of the animals over immediately. Describe the animals now. Are they all healthy? Were they being fed? Were they, did they seem to be cared for? There were some animals that were far, far too thin and other animals that were actually a bit overweight. So mm -hmm. when animals are held together in cages, they'll establish a pecking order. So some animals will have good access to food while others will have very little, if any, access. Um, in, among the birds, there were um, cases of cannibalism. So animals will go after each other. So it was a huge variety in terms of physical condition, emotional condition, and general health. So was there evidence that there was food around? Could you see whether the animals had, had been fed on a regular basis? Could you tell? I couldn't speak to how regularly they were being fed, but certainly there was food in some of the dishes and there mm -hmm. was water in some of the dishes. Now, have you ever been called into anything like this before? Uh, we are called into animal hoarding cases on a fairly regular basis. So I'd say a couple times a year we'll have a case, not usually of this magnitude, but um, animal hoarding isn't about numbers of animals, it's about the condition in which they're kept. Mm -hmm. I mean, how, you said it, it, you get called in kind of frequently, but how does it get going? I mean, you have a dog, and then before you know it, the, the, the dog has puppies, and then it grows exponentially. Are these people actually going out and collecting the animals and bringing them in? Everything. Or? There's no one way that people acquire so many animals. Some people are hobby breeders and the breeding hobby gets out of control. Other people are known in the community as being a place where animals will get taken care of so people will drop animals at their doorstep. And other people feel like they have a need to protect every animal that's out there. So they might go looking on uh, classified ads to acquire more animals to bring them home. It always surprises me how a case can get to this point. It's one thing, and we've all seen the reality show Hoarders. I mean, those are um, adult human beings living in conditions by their own making. But when it involves animals, no one in the neighborhood, nobody called in, nobody said, wait a second, this, you know, it's not... It's, not, it's not a victimless crime, and it's not only when it involves um, animals, there's also other vulnerable people in the home sometimes, elders or children that also have no control over their environment. So they can be very mm -hmm. toxic, toxic environments for animals and people. 
the, on that point, can you be overwhelmed? I mean, you said to stand, I can't even imagine, but can, can that cloud your thinking, all that ammonia? And Absolutely. All that? Uh, uh, ammonia levels can go very high, and that does um, change people's mentation or their ability to think clearly. And there's also some evidence that some of the bacterial cell wall components mm -hmm. from the E. coli uh, endotoxins, when they're inhaled, can have an effect. They can cause a flu-like mm -hmm. illness. The people who live in the environment may become somewhat mm -hmm. accommodated to it, but for the rescuers, when they intervene, it's a blast of wow. toxin in the air. These dogs and animals are still up for adoption. In yes, form, and, yeah. they and they're doing do well. They're responding very well to the care. All right, we'll post a, a, a link to Great. how they can do that on our website. Super. Martha, thank you so much. Thank you, Great Emily. Information.